27 past the hour. Let's take a look at the morning papers. The Washington Post, the Obama administration is laying plans for a more aggressive military campaign in Syria. The paper reports the change in strategy by the administration is being driven partly by frustration over little gains in Iraq. The administration is considering providing arms and ammunition to a wider array of rebels in Syria, along with relaxing certain vetting standards. And the Wall Street Journal reports that Syria, that Syria and Russia have held a series of high-level talks in Moscow over how to assist in Assad's defense. And on top of reports last week of Russia's military buildup in Syria, U.S. defense officials now say that Russian surveillance drones have begun flying missions over Syria and that the Russians have sent two dozen additional fighter jets to the country. And Mike, this also comes as Russia and Iran now reportedly talking about joining together in a joint defense of keeping Assad in power. Yeah, and I think we'll, we'll probably end up going along with that somewhat, keeping we Assad are. in power for a while. You get a very dangerous situation there, Joe, as everybody knows. You've got Russian jets in the air, you got American jets in the air. You don't want any tipping point to occur. I think what's accident. happening here is I think everything's coming together to keep Assad in power. Yeah. I, th I, 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 I don't know what leaders have said to each other, but you don't have to read a whole lot of tea leaves to see. To see, that's the, the enemy of my enemy uh, is my friend. And it looks like everybody's going after uh, ISIS to crush them as quickly as possible in Syria. The headline.